Hey, 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 Cancer, this is your secret scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, February 6th to the 7th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below before you leave, if you would. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Please also note that energy and time are fluid, Cancer, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. All right, Cancer, I'm going to pull some cards here and then get a message from the angels before I begin. All right, Cancer, Cancer. Let's see what's happening for you. Ooh. One more card. Okay, we'll take two. Hmm. We have the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. So let me get a message from the angels and then we will begin. Okay, can you tell if others are admiring you or plotting your demise? Well, that's an interesting question, Cancer. Why? Ask that question. We want you to understand that everyone is not what they seem to be. Don't take their words at face value. Take, take them with a grain of salt. What they do is more important than what they say. And will show their true colors right now. Okay, I feel like they're saying schemers. It's like somebody's scheming that's around you. I'm not quite sure what they're... <sighs> Pretending, scheming. Hmm. And then doing this under false pretenses, you may feel like this person is a friend. You may feel like this person is friendly at work, say. Um... But they have ulterior motives, Cancer. <clears throat> Anything in love? Okay, that's interesting. Create a barrier between friendship and love. I'm not understanding that statement because why would you create a barrier between f friendship and love? Wait a minute, I gotta see if I can get any more because it's not making sense to me. Like, I would, you know, for me, it's like I wanna be friends and lovers. It's like both, so why would you create a barrier? No. Oh, okay. Your friends. Okay. You have your friends on this side. And you have your love interests on this side. So these are friends that are not love interests. And this is your love. Create a barrier between the two right now. Because of what's going on, this underhanded behavior. Something's happening. 
So you want to create the barrier for now. It's not a permanent barrier, they're saying. It's not, it's not permanent, but you need to do this for now. In order to see whoever this, whoever this is in this group here, um, to see them for who they are. Okay. Okay. And this is this, um, yeah, this is the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. That's the liar, the cheater, the thief, right? And this is this person I'm feeling. And this is in, sort of in the center of this whole reading here. They're trying to create confusion with you as far as what you love, what you're passionate about, who you love, who you're passionate about. Don't ever let somebody tell you, no, you're not passionate about that. No, you don't want to do that. No, you, no. You know you best. So you tell them no. Okay? So they're trying to create a fog. They're trying to create this, this fog. Because they know you're the queen of pentacles. They know your worth. And they want to get you stuck. I don't know why they want to get you stuck. I had a... What sign was this yesterday? There was another sign with somebody who's trying to keep them stuck. <coughs> okay. Tell me about this seven of swords. Ooh, we got a couple of here. The Hierophants. The two of pentacles. Now, the Hierophant is Taurus, but it's also um, the marriage card. So, I hate to say this. This could be somebody that you're married to, used to be married to, most probably used to be married to. Because I would hate to think that this is the current marriage partner. Right? Right? And it's like, they're not very balanced. Uh, not very balanced at all. Something's off. Something's way off with that. Tell me about the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords. Who's this person to Cancer? Okay, yeah, this is a lover. This is um, a wish fulfillment for you. So somebody that you've wished for. Now, this could have been wishing for in the past. This could be wishing for now, wishing for in the future, right? Um, you're wishing to be their lover. It could be a soulmate. And they could be playing with you. They're being deceptive if this is your wish fulfillment. What is their intent? What is this Seven of Swords person's intent with Cancer? Yeah, Page of Swords. This is the, the stalker, the spy, the um, to find out as much as they can. And this is why Spirit said, keep that barrier. Don't tell people about your love life right now. I would say no. Don't tell. Because I don't feel like this is really a current lover. I feel like this is more of a previous one. That's why I said this could be an ex, somebody that you had a long-term commitment with, because the Hierophant is marriage. Could be marriage, could be long-term commitment. Okay. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like they're making you apologize for things you didn't even do. That's what I'm feeling. They're confusing you. They're confusing you, Cancer. Death. They're wanting you to end something and wait. They're, they're like, they want you in this waiting status. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I know this is you. This is somebody who's grounded, who's appreciating what they're growing. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to take a leap of faith. Okay, don't tell them. Whoever this is, if you're interested in um, somebody for love, right, and you are thinking about taking a leap of faith with them, do not tell them, 
do not get any advice from this person because all they're going to do is add to your confusion and put a halt to any decisions you're making. Tell me about the hangman status. Yeah, they don't want to see you go forward with the Queen of Wands. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. They don't want to see you move forward towards your dreams, towards your love. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. This is the person that you're interested in. Eight of Cups. Yep, you know you have to walk away from whatever relationship that you have with this person. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles. It's like you know if you go towards who you love, what you love, what you're passionate about, creative um, pursuits, right? You need to walk away from something, someone, and get out of this lack mentality because I feel like they're putting this lack mentality, this abandonment um, stuff in your head. So who is this person that cancer is interested in? I want to know about them. Two of Swords. It's because this other one has you. I, 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 Cancer. Yep, Five of um, Wands. They have you all up in arms about this individual. See? This is this other person doing this to you. King of Wands. Wow. And I feel this other person is confused too because they're, they're confused at your actions. They're indecisive now. It's like it's, it's this energy is extending to them and they're very passionate about you. Look, you have the Queen of Wands here and they're the King of Wands. This is a true pair. Come on now, Cancer. Wake up. All right, what is your advice? What is your advice for dealing with this Seven of Swords individual for Cancer? Let them go. Don't hold on to their friendship, whatever it is that you have with them. Don't hold on to them. Let them go. You have to for your freaking sanity, first of all. Okay, what is your advice when dealing with this King of Wands? Mm -hmm. The star card. This is your wish. This is your desire. The card of Aquarius. This is a done deal. Okay. But you have to allow it. You have to want it and you have to know it is there. There's a lot of healing to be had with this king as well. Okay, but you need to get away from this energy. All right, Cancer, I hope this resonated with you. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a fantastic day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.